What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Power Bang, and I'll be hosting the show today. If you're looking for more daily PUBG Mobile action, you can find my channel link in the description below. Feel free to drop a sub over there. But that being said, I am excited to announce today that Season 1, the first ever, the inaugural season of PUBG Mobile, has come to a close, and Season 2 has now begun. But as you can see on my character, I was able to procure those Season 1 combat jacket and Season 1 combat pants. Those are clothing, uh, you know, things to make you look cool that uh, they give away for your progress up the ranks during each season. Now, Season 1, you were able to get that combat jacket there if you did make it into the Gold League and complete five matches. And the combat pants were a little bit more rare as you had to make it all the way through Platinum League into Diamond League and complete five matches while staying in Diamond. And that will get you the combat pants. So that being said, once you're all done with the uh, season, Season 1, you will get a nice little loot box for achieving that that rank and let's go ahead and take a look at our inventory there is the season reward that purple box right there what do we got a season one diamond crate now that crate comes at the end of the entire season so several weeks worth of gameplay we're gonna go ahead and click use and we are all going to experience what a diamond box for the end of the season looks like so we'll go ahead and open that up holy cow 2500 bp and six hero crate boxes that is going to give us some uh, some loot, it looks like. We'll go ahead and open up. Looks like combat pants, cargo pants, ooh-wee baby, a white shirt, padded jacket, Velcro trainers, gotta love those, and another white shirt. So we do end up with some duplicates here, but more importantly, we got a whole bunch of BP. So a nice little end of season reward there uh, for making it into the Diamond League. And now as we look forward to season two, we notice that our progress has been scaled back a little bit. You see that I am all the way down in gold three after being in the Diamond Division uh, prior to season two. I have not played any games as of yet. We'll do that here in just a moment. But you can see that the progress has been scaled back and it does look like there will be the opportunity to play against players who have pushed past you in previous seasons or maybe even those that couldn't catch up to you uh, as well. So it's a great chance to start fresh, prove that you can make it up the ranks once again. Uh, so as you can see, I've got a long way to go here to get back up the ranks in both solo, duo, and squad. But check out the season reward, guys. For this season, we're looking at silver tier being reached and five matches being played. So as you can see, I'm already already there in all divisions, both solos, duo squads, uh, and all I have to do now is play five matches without falling out. So you can see their combat shoes for season two, and then at the end of the season, they've got a reach gold tier box that you can collect as well. So that is pretty much it for the end of season one. Season two starts right now. Let's go ahead into our first solo battle. So here it is, season two has begun. We are flying into Rozhawk right now. Let's look around and see who we have for company. We got a few over at the school, one here at Rozhawk with me. I'm gonna go ahead and loot up and this is going to be a ball to start off the season. Let's go ahead and grab that vest to start things off and here we go, cheek pad 762 and a red dot. So that's, ah, AKM, that'll work. And a whole bunch of ammo. Let's go ahead and start off this thing in a hurry. Let's see if we can, uh, find this guy that dropped in or is he still up in the sky he is not still up in the sky I think he's over here so we're gonna work our way that direction for sure So that guy was shooting at the same guy I was. We're gonna go have some fun with this guy over across the street. First thing we're gonna do is boost up. The next thing we're gonna do is go drive and get above him. Got a buggy over here at this house.
pretty far shot over there. This guy brings great, great things. All right, Sashi, almost got me. Well, we went from average loot to looted out of our minds with just a couple of kills here. It is time to go, though. Here comes the blue zone. It certainly looks like this zone is going to go south. We are way out of position right now. What we're going to do is drive over to the bridge and see what happens here. Great chance we're going to get camped and uh, there will be people sitting on the bridge. Well, we'll fast forward here in time to find out what our fate is. Oh, that guy's dead. Roadkill. This is the most nerve-wracking part of the journey right here. Will we get blown to bits or will we make it across? Oh, we make it across for the time being. There is a drop across the way. Let's go ahead and go check that out. And we approach. Nobody down here. He's going for the... All right, man down. Got to that crate just in time. Holy cow. And there it is. That's the zone that we got to get to, boys and girls. We have to get over to the east part of the island, and that's where we're gonna head right now. That right there is a, uh... That's a, that's a guy. You can see him in the front part of that, uh, right here. We do hit him going up to that front room. Oh, we have another crate right in front of us. How many times is that bar in the window gonna save this guy? <laughs> oh my goodness, did you guys see? What are the odds of that? Let's roll that back in slow motion. All right, well, while we were in slow-mo, there's guys over here fighting it out. We're gonna take a quick little venture down to the road and see what is in this crate that dropped. Maybe we can find an AWM.
Now we'll continue on with what we were doing. There he is. The next zone is about to reveal itself, so the blue closes in on the white. We are looking at a beautiful position right now. So we find ourselves in a top five situation right off the bat in season two. We're getting ready to see where this next zone is going to go. Will we have the benefit of another zone? We do not. We have to get moving. Let's go ahead and start working our way ASAP to the next zone. I feel pretty good because we've already cleared a lot of the left side of us and a lot of the right side of us by killing a bunch of people. So we'll use that eyeball to make sure nobody's trailing us and it doesn't look like there are. We got a nice berm covering us on our left. Very close. We will boost up as this last encounter is inevitable at this point. Uh, we got a guy right here at this tree. Nice, he's close there. We are down to three alive. I held my shot there just to be safe. I had the kill lined up and I decided to pass on it knowing there was somebody right there I could have revealed my position to. They're gonna have to run in front of me to get to the zone. Enemy has the high ground position right now so it's a little difficult to just move out and prone. There's the last guy alive. I know where he's at now. I can run clearly and safely, and I'll be waiting for him when he comes down. We're down to a 1v1. Is this going to be it? Will we emerge victorious, or will we fail? I think I see him. Straight ahead, just under 195. I don't know if that's him or not. No, nope, doesn't appear to be. The zone's coming in. It's time to be on our trigger finger. He's got to be up by that tree. Do you guys see him? Because I certainly don't. Got him! Winner, winner, chicken dinner to start off the season, baby. That's a plus 56 total rating. Gotta love it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll take the victory here. 10 kills, getting it done on the Southern Military Island. Not too bad, guys. Hopefully you all enjoy season two. There's some new rewards to go for, some new things, some new trinkets to go get, to go put on. I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope to see you on the battlefield.